Some people in Lebanon are demanding answers after city police there shot and killed a dog named Gunner last Wednesday. Police have justified the action, saying the one-year-old German Shepherd was aggressive toward officers as they tried to control him with a catch pole. The dog's owners and witnesses disagree. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz here with details of what happened and protesting tonight. That's right, Evan. Tonight, community members, along with Gunner's owners, gathered at City Hall in protest, demanding justice for the slain dog. The city's mayor tells me the incident remains under internal review and that police body camera footage tells a different story than the video circling around on social media. I watched three to four seconds of it for my dog crying and I shut it off. Unless I'm forced to watch it, I, I won't watch the full thing. The owners of a dog shot by Lebanon City Police now speaking out. It happened on July 6th when police were called to a home on Tiffany Lane for reports of a stray dog. But that dog wasn't a stray. He was a one-year-old German Shepherd named Gunner who escaped from his own yard when an unknown person opened the gate. It's a tragedy. People are emotional. It's their pet. It is a friend's pet. It's, you know, dog families are united and they're strong and, and you know, we're a part of that as well. Justice! On Wednesday night, Gunner's owners joined by dozens of community members outside City Hall demanding justice for the dog. I had to do something. I was angry. I was distraught by it. And I have a German Shepherd named Gunner and all I could think of is if that was my dog, what would I do? Police have justified their action, saying the dog had become aggressive, biting the catch pole. That after officers spent approximately one hour trying to resolve the situation in another way. They called the Humane Society and State Dog Warden. Neither were available. The dog was very upset, very angry, understandably, and we were hoping to tire it out, but he wasn't getting tired, unfortunately, and he was getting, he was coming out of the loop. So they had to make a split decision in that moment, and that was the decision that was made. Gunner's owners say this video circulating on social media shows that's not true. He never growled at you. He never gave you any sign other than aggression towards a dog pole, which any normal dog would do when you're trying, three guys are ambushing you with a pole trying to put a noose around your neck and drag you across the yard. City leaders tell Fox 43 police body cam footage tells a different story. What is seen on social media is very different from the footage that we have um, that we believe our officers were facing. The social media video is from a side angle, um, a little bit of a distance away um, from where the officers were. They were, you know, a few feet and in front of the dog. So it shows a different picture. If what you're saying is true, Release the cam. Show it. Now, Mayor Capello tells me the city does not plan to release that police body camera footage at this time. It's yet to be seen if the footage will be released at a later date. Now, the dog's owners want the officers involved to be held accountable and disciplined. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.